are you all doing today it is very 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 cold um so hopefully i can keep my hands warm and i'm going to be able to make with you today some absolutely lovely little bracelets now it was oh, i don't know when a good few weeks back we made some little um mobius earrings or mobius earrings and we were using some little pearls and some jump rings to create that lovely spiral look well, I think it was our lovely Camille who gave the suggestion that they would make lovely bracelets. And we all agreed. And I know some of you did start making those bracelets. So today I'm going to be making a bracelet with you too. So if you haven't already got them, you'll be able to go over to the website and you'll be able to buy a kit which makes lots of lovely bracelets up. Um, and that way it will match your earrings. And if you don't have the earrings, then you'll be able to make up a pair to match your beautiful bracelet that we're going to do today. So I'm going to say a quick hello to everybody before I take you over to the web page. So good morning to Carol. Hello to Debbie. Good morning to Francis and Angela and Sharon and our lovely Lucy's in. So what's the weather like where you are? Because it's freezing here today. Um, I haven't got the heating on, but I'm going to just as soon as I finish the live, I think gonna have to now and could do with my gloves on while I'm making this morning and um, good morning to Mina hello to Ruth Camille says um, good morning Natalie miserable wet day here uh, good morning to Edward and hello to Tutu it's not raining yet it looks like it could snow the skies are very white kind of grey colour today good morning to Elaine as well right let's take you over to the website and let's have a look at these lovely lovely bracelets for you today so as always we are on totallybeads.co.uk and you can scroll into the video categories section here to see the tutorials or you can click on the big logo at the top so today we are doing a bias bracelet as i say, don't know how that's pronounced whether it's mobius mobius they're very pretty i always refer to them as like little flowers so we've got three different colorways for you and we're including two colors of the pearls in each kit again so you'll be able to make them up to match your earrings so we've got a gorgeous deal for you today they are 9.99 per kit and it makes six so you're going to be able to make six bracelets as i say you'll probably have some left over or if you want to make five bracelets and make lots of earrings too. Um, there's no ear wires in these kits for you today, but you might have them already in your stash or you might be able to just pick up a little pack off our website. So £9.99 pence to make six gorgeous bracelets up. So we've got the grape and the teal on the black plate. We've got the hematite and pearl on the silver and we've got a pink and peach for you on the gold colourway. And again, if you want to buy two of these kits, you can mix those colours up. So you might want to put the gold and the silver together. You might want to create your little Mabias spirals in each colour or you might want to mix those individual ones up as well. So you're using different colours of the jump rings. They look very, very pretty, whatever it is you choose to do. So I will take you into each category now and you can see what you get. For six bracelets, you're going to get your irons, your six millimetre glass pearl round beads, and they're going to be in grape and in teal. You're going to get your six millimetre jump rings, your eight millimetre jump rings, and you're also going to get a very pretty rope toggle clasp. I think these look lovely with it. Obviously, we're making those little Mabias spirals with the jump rings, and I think having that little rope toggle clasp just ties that all in together so you could use a lobster clasp if you want but i think the toggle looks much prettier on these bracelets so they are your gorgeous colorway as saying your black plate and um, findings and jump rings in your two different sizes six millimeters and eight millimeter jump rings in there for you and they look i think very very pretty so that one is your grape and your teal We've also got the lovely silver one and that comes with your hematite and your pearl coloured glass pearls. So all of your pearls are six millimetres in size, lovely little round pearls that you can 
mix the colours up again you don't have to you might want to do one which is all in hematite you might want to use one which is all just using the pearls or you might want to mix them up i've mixed them up in the bracelets but that is up to you so nine pounds 99 today this is your gorgeous silver colorway and we've also got the gold for you so if you're liking your pinks or you're wanting your peaches this one is very very pretty as i say you can mix those pearls if you want to so we'll be using the same technique in the same method putting those earrings together but we are going to do it slightly differently in terms of the number of jump rings so when i was doing the earrings we were using five jump rings for the bracelet i'm just using four it still makes that gorgeous spiral shape and it makes your kits go a teeny tiny bit further but you're making six today six gorgeous bracelets for nine pounds and 99 pence so drop me a comment and let me know did you make the e-rings or are you thinking i didn't and i'm really glad we're doing a bracelet because now i've got the opportunity to do so um good morning to lovely um who we got we've got everyone here i'm gonna have to scroll back up i've missed loads and um, good morning to paul i was up to i think um so good morning she says it's chucking it down here in south wales congratulations on getting through to the final natalie very well deserved thank you very much um michelle's in as well she's saying good morning to the beaders um elaine is giving me a wave and she's saying hello to everybody she says it's cold damp and miserable in south links today angela says the weather here is fairly bright but no rain and that's good for us where is it that you're watching from angela um mina says questions is it me who can't find the kit and the tutorial under video tutorials do you know, Mina, I had a little look before and I couldn't find the earrings. I had to find the earrings that we did in the um, tutorials called Kind. So you can go, I'm looking for a bracelet, or I'm looking for a necklace. I clicked on earrings and they were in there, but they weren't in the, the previous months because I was trying to figure out when it was that we did them. So no, Mina, it's not you. I don't know where they've gone, um, but usually all of our tutorials are saved there so you can always win today to go to winter wonderland in london i think she might get more winter than she planned for fully and i hope she has a lovely time it's going to be something really nice to get her in the festive spirit um so i hope she has a really nice time pauline says good morning natalie on this dreary dull day so i think weather wise for everyone it's a bit it's a bit rubbish and a bit cold today um Paula says that's an amazing price. I've got Christmas fair in two weeks and these will be ideal. They are an absolute bargain state, £9.99 pence, and you're making up six bracelets. So I agree, absolute bargain for you today. Um, Pauline says, good morning, Natalie. Um, Sheila says, good morning, Natalie and fellow beaders. Heavy frost here in Washington, Tyne and Ware. Judith is in. She says, good morning, Natalie and everybody. Cold and bright at the moment in West Lothian. Hello to Mandy, um, who's saying she hopes everyone's had a lovely weekend. We did have a nice weekend. It went very, very quickly, though. Angela's from Forfar, that was it. And we were flooded on Friday, she says. Um, much better now, but very wet underfoot. I hope your property is okay. Um, it's just the last thing you need, isn't it? Mina says she's just found it um, if we search by name, right? Okay, so you can pop my bias in and it comes up as well. Sharon says you could make a necklace, bracelet, bracelet and earring set for a present. You could actually do that too. But I'm not going back and doing this one again. I'm showing you the earrings. I've shown you the bracelets today. It's the same technique. I might make a necklace though for myself. Um, Mina saying, do we get one bag of the jump rings? I'm not too sure how many is in your kit. I've not counted them out individually, but I have when I've been making the bracelets. So I know that there will be enough in to make six. Lucy says she's got the hospital today, um, but she doesn't want to go. Um, it's out the way and it's too cold. I'm wishing you loads of luck, Lucy. I hope it goes well. Good morning to my mum, Kath, who's in. She says, good morning, Natalie and everybody. Um, and Camille saying, stay in then, Lucy. No, if you've got to go for an appointment, you've got to go for an appointment. Um, so I hope it goes well for you. Right, I'm going to take you down onto the map. We've done the website now. Have a little look at these beauties here. So 
absolutely gorgeous bracelets as i say we made the uh, the earrings and we did those in the same color so you had two of the hematite you could if you wanted if you were to do these again you could always add two pearls onto them too if you wanted to mix the colors in your bracelet so here i've used both i've used the grape and the teal but you could just use the teal running through it or the grape and that is your gorgeous black plate one this one is your silver again i'm mixing up those pearls just to add little splashes of color in they're so simple and straightforward to do but i think they create these really lovely little kind of flower spirals in between and then we've got this gorgeous gold colorway too so this is your pink and your peach just going to be making those little eye pins in between into double connectors and we're going to be finishing them all with these beautiful little toggle clasps so your toggle clasp got stuff on my desk it's not focusing you can see it's got this gorgeous little rope effect so your clasp my hands are so cold this morning will just fit through lovely to close and I think it just adds again with it having that kind of toggle you've got that lovely circular shape and because it's a rope effect I think it matches really lovely with the flower kind of a bias hoops that you're putting in between there Lucy says she's loving all the colors on these and Camille saying keep dry when you go to your appointment so no hand cream on today so I shouldn't be too slippy but my hands are looking a little bit dry so I'll do that afterwards so we've got our beautiful bracelets today I'm gonna demo with the silver however if you were to get more than one kit so if you were to get maybe the gold and the silver you can mix these up too so you could mix them up with the jump rings, I'm going to hold them up to the camera. Just give it a little flip. So you could do a mix of those metals. And I do love using mixed metals. So you could do it like that if you wanted to mix your kits. Or you could make your spirals. I have put my little six mil jump rings onto that one. So they will connect. You could mix it up, but keep all of your Mabaya spirals the same colour. So you could do alternating colours if you wanted to. And if we've got time, I might play a little round with that. So I'm going to start off, I've frozen. Have I frozen for anybody else? It's not a good sign. I can still see my hands holding those jump rings up. Can anybody comment to let me know if, yeah, I'm frozen? Hmm, let's see if I make that disappear. Hmm, do you think if I refresh, I'm going to end up disappearing completely? Not really got much of a choice, have I? Right, please bear with me. I'm going to hit this button and hope that it doesn't completely cut off. And if it does, please come and join me again in a second. <laughs> Am I still live? <laughs> you all seem to be with me. But my downward facing camera has completely disappeared. Well, that's not a good sign, is it? Right. Let me see if I can get this back up. Do you know, I knew it was going to be one of those days today. Please bear with me. I think it may have fixed itself. Fingers crossed. There we go. Okay. So, to make Mama Bias spirals, let me just move that there a little bit. I'm going to be using my eight millimeter jump rings. So I'm going to get quite a few out of my little pack. 
and I'm going to be using two pairs of pliers, so your flat nose or your chain nose, just to open some of these up. So I'm going to open up a few and I'm going to keep some closed as well. Let's get a bit of focus. So I'm just going to open up those jump rings. Don't have to open them up too wide, but I'm just going to open it up towards me by giving it a little flick. As you know, we're not opening our jump rings outwards because that's going to distort the shape and it's going to start weakening the jump ring. The wonderful thing about the jump rings is if you open them up properly, you can open them up numerous times if you need to. And it's not going to affect the kind of integrity of its strength or its shape. So I'm just starting by opening up a few. And I'm going to have a little pile of some that I've checked are perfectly closed as well. So sometimes you'll get them in your kit and they'll be slightly staggered if you can see there. So I just open it and give it a little click. I love the sound when it clicks because now I know it is perfectly closed. If it doesn't fully close, just keep opening it and closing it. Give a little wiggle until it does spring shut and sometimes i will open it and take it slightly past the point to close and then when i let go it will spring back closed where's my chat gone are you all still here um lucy is asking ruth to refresh ruth saying hers is still looking frozen um but she has said to me which is very lovely. Please click the thumbs up, everybody. That might that might boost it if we've all got lots of, of good wishes. Um, ah, Sharon said, it's not just my hands that are frozen. Are we all okay now? Angela says, yeah, it's definitely those Monday morning gremlins. So you could hear me, but you couldn't see me. Are we all okay now? <laughs> Camille says, yeah, still here. You can't get rid of us that easily. Well, that's good because there's no point me doing this talking to myself, is there? I know what I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm going to have a couple closed and I'm going to have a few open. Now to make these spirals, I'm just going to use four jump rings in total. You can add five if you want. You could do it with three if you want. If you do it with three, you're going to be getting a lot more out of your kit. They might not look as spirally as flower based and um, they'll still make a really pretty link but do bear in mind you know this kit is making up six because you're getting all the clasps that you need as well in there good morning to joanne she says good morning natalie and good morning all um pauline says she can't see the chat mine's come back up you might need to if you're watching on your phone you might need to just give it a little scroll to the side and it might come back up um Ruth says, no, I'm fine. It's hair that's frozen. It is cold. Maybe the weather's just frozen everything. Um, the gold is showing out of stock already. Um, Lucy, I know you're here and you're a little love. Could you do me a big favour? Could you possibly message um, the team and see if we can get that refreshed? Because we've only just started and it would be nice if... Um, you can get what you need. It is showing for me as out of stock as well, but hopefully we'll be able to get more in our, our basket soon. Okay, so I'm going to pick up the closed jump ring. So this is my eight millimeter and I'm taking a closed one. I'm going to pick up off my mat one of my open jump rings and I'm sliding that closed one through the middle and then I'm going to close the jump ring that's open. So I've got two little jump rings attached like that. Lucy's on it, thank you, sweet. Then I'm gonna pick up another jump ring, another one of my open ones, and I'm gonna slide that through, not just one of the rings, but both of them. Oh, my hands are cold today, do bear with me. So I've got two of my rings closed, 
I'm going to pick up another open one and I'm going to slide that through both of the closed jump rings before I then come and close that one up. So now I have three and I just keep knocking it into place just so I'm creating that lovely little spiral. And then going to pick up my last one, which is my fourth open jump ring. And I'm going to slide that through all of them. And then close that one up as well. So I'm going to have four of my eight millimeter jump rings. And you can just give them a little bit of a flip about until they make that lovely spiral shape. And I'm going to keep going with that. Now, I have used, is it eight? Let me check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've used eight of these little um, bias spirals on my bracelets, and that makes about an eight inch bracelet. If you want to make it shorter, you just make less. If you want to make it longer, you can just add more links into it. So they're really straightforward to do. Picking up a closed one taking one that is open, attaching them together and closing my jump rings. So I tend to find it a little bit easier if I open my jump rings prior to putting them all together because then I'm just picking one up and attaching that through. So I tend to kind of prep my materials a little bit first. Close it over. Let them fall together. We want to make sure that that is closed a bit better. It's closed, but it's just not quite lined up. We want to do it properly. We want to make them look all lovely and neat. So I've got my three. Picking up my four. And that fourth one is going to go through all of those closed rings. Hi, Anne. She says, good morning, everyone. Just a little late. Oh, you've missed it all, Anne. I've frozen. It was all going on. But we're all back together now. So we are making, if you have just joined us like Anne, we have done um, or we're starting to make our beautiful Mabias Pearl bracelets and it is all back in stock, lovelies. So thank you to Lucy for that. If you are wanting the gold one, it's back there for you. So I'm keeping picking up a closed, threading it through my open jump ring and closing that over. Adding on the next one. So I'm just adding four jump rings together today. But you can do it with the five again if you want to. You could just do it with three. If you did it with three, it would look something like that. I think four. Four or five is a nice amount. And all I need to do is just give it a little flip round so those jump rings sit together. So I'm going to start making a little pile of them. I'll do another one. As I say, I'm going to have eight in total for this length of bracelet, which is about eight inches. Just keep picking up my open jump ring. Sliding that on through, giving that jump ring a close so it's fully closed and adding the closed jump rings onto another open one. So I've made a little pile of my spirals, really, really quick and easy to do. And as I say, if you wanted to, if you're getting two kits and you want to get maybe the gold and the silver or the black plate and the silver, whatever it is that you want to do, you can mix them up as well. So it's exactly the same technique. I may be starting with a gold one, which is closed 
adding on an open silver, adding on an open gold, adding on another open silver, or vice versa. I might start with a closed gold one and I can make them in my mixed metal colours as well. And to link them together, I'm going to use my six millimetre jump rings. So I'm going to get those out of my pack. And again, I find it easier just to open these all up to begin with. So I'm taking my smaller jump rings, which are my six millimeter jump rings. And I'm just going to start opening those up. Now I'm going to attach two jump rings onto each of my Mabaya spiral. So then I can connect them onto my pins in between like little links. If you wanted, you could double up and you could use two jump rings and then connect your links together that way. It really depends on what look that you like um, and how you want to put these together. But this is the simplest way of doing it using minimal amount of materials. I don't think I'm going to want my bracelet quite that long, so I think I might just stick with the seven little Mabias spirals. You can see sometimes when you pick them up, they just need a little squish into place. So sometimes I find just dropping them onto the table often makes them form the shape I'm after. So I'm opening up my six millimetre jump rings. I'm picking up my lovely spiral and I'm kind of going to get it in the shape that I want it to be. I'm then going to pick up one of my six millimetre jump rings and I'm going to pop that round all of them again. And then I'm going to close that six millimetre up. Then I'm going to pick another six millimetre up and do exactly the same. So I've got two six millimetre jump rings on each of my spirals. As I say, if you wanted to double up, you could put four on. But this way, that is my connection. So I'm just going to start linking these together really, really easy. And then I can start adding on my gorgeous pearls in between. So picking them all up, i say it's easier if you've got your jump rings already open, I find, because then you can, you don't have to put your work down, you can just hold it with your pliers while you add that next one on. So you're making six up out of your kit today and they are very quick makes. So as some of you have said, you know, you're, you're making for Christmas or you're making to gift or to sell. It's a really good priced kit today. And you're getting loads in it. And everybody likes a little matching set, don't they? So if you have already got the earrings, I would suggest you get the bracelet too because then you can do a lovely little matching one. So I'm just adding on my six millimetre jump ring. So I'm attaching two to each. They can move around at the moment. Don't worry, they don't have to be on, say, opposite sides of that spiral at the moment. They're already done. Okay, now I'm gonna start making my pearls. So if you want to, you can mix up your colors. So you can have them alternating in between. Or if you wanted to, you could have all of one color. My hands are working a little bit slower so hopefully you're keeping up with what I'm talking about. 
So I'm going to take my eye pin, got these lovely little eye pins, and I'm going to add on my first pearl. And then I'm going to take my pliers and I'm going to bend my pin to around 90 degrees. So I always find it's easier to bend the pin first. And if I do a little bend on it, then what will happen is when I turn that loop to make a double connector, it will be sitting nicely on top of that bead and also in line with the other one. So you can use a looper for this if you wanted to. I'm just going to turn my pins by hand. So I'm going to cut off, leaving about a centimetre on my pin. I'm going to come in with my round nose pliers. I'm going to just use the tip of my round nose pliers. I only want it quite small, these little loops. And I'm going to start to turn in little motions all the way round until my little pin is in a little loop. And I'm going to place that down and I'll attach that on in a moment. So I'm just going to make enough to just fit in between my lovely bracelet. I am going to alternate the colours today because I've got them in my kit and they're lovely. So it gives you the option of how you'd like to make these. So I'm bending my pin. I'm cutting off, leaving about a centimetre and just holding that end of the pin in between my fingers. So when I give it a little cut, it doesn't fly away. And then I can start making a little pile at the side of my pins. Um, Camille says all of me work slower today, uh, these days. I, I don't know. My hands aren't working very quickly this morning because I'm cold, but it's slower on, the, on my screen than what's actually happening. So hopefully, if you need to, you can just take your pliers and you can give that a little tilt just to make sure that your ends of your pin are, are level with each other and facing in the same direction. So I'm just adding on alternating colours, bending my eye pin, giving it a little trim. May have made that a little bit longer, but we'll see. So to turn my loop, I'm making sure that the eye pin isn't sticking out the other side of my round nose pliers, that this is nice and flush, and that's going to make sure my loop fully turns. I'm going to give myself a little flick, so I'm turning it towards me, and then I'm repositioning my hand, and then just continuing to turn that. Need to straighten that up. I went a little bit further than I needed to. To close that over, I do need to make that face in the same direction. So I'm going to give it a little twist and I'm going to make sure that that's fully closed. If you ever do one and it's looking like this, so you can see it's more of a P shape, maybe than an I shape. I'm just going to pop my pin in and give it a little flick. Let me redo that one. I think I cut too much. So on with the pin. Going to bend. doesn't have to be a sharp bend, but just roughly in a 90 degree angle. Give it a little trim off. So I'm going to just put the little bend in it first and then start to bring that round until it meets and it's closed. So if I need to, I can just pop my round nose in and give it a little bend back again if it's not fully looking like an eye shape, as I say, if it goes more like a P. So now I need another little silver one. Well, it's pale coloured, but it's very, very pretty. I do like having the mix of colours. I like mixed metals and I like mixed colours. Um, but I think these colours look really nice 
with the colorway. So I think this particular color looks lovely against the silver, whereas I think the, the peach looks beautiful against the gold. Sorry, I'm not in camera there. So I'm just making those little loops. So I need another hematite one. And once I've created these, all that is left to do is just link them all together. So you can open up your pins that we're making now, these little eye connectors, or you can open up your six millimeter jump rings to attach them together. It's entirely what you feel is easiest for you. I'm gonna give that a little twist so they're sitting level. And I'm gonna come in with my round nose again and just make sure that's fully closed. Okay, so I've got my, my pearls in between. I'm alternating my colours. And as I say, now is just a case of putting them together. So minimal materials and minimal tools today. I'm using two pairs of pliers, flat nose and um, needle nose, just to kind of open those up. I've got my round nose to turn my loops and I've got a little pair of cutters to cut my pins. So I'm going to open up this six millimeter jump ring that I have attached on. So you can open up your pin or you can open up your jump ring. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna open up my jump ring and I'm just gonna slide that on and then close that over. I'm now going to pick up my next my bias spiral and I'm going to take one of the six millimeter jump rings, find the opening, give it a little twist, doesn't have to open up much and slide on the other side of the same pearl on that connector. So I'm starting to join these together and this will quickly form my bracelet. So again, taking the next one just lay it out on my mat in front of me so I know exactly which colour I'm picking up if I have chose to alternate those colours and do a bit of a mix. If you wanted to, you can open up the connector on your pearl. But I think it's just as easy to open up the jump ring. Sliding it on, closing it over, and then open up the next one. So you'll see that these jump rings then start to sit on either side of those Mabaya spirals. So your pearls will link them together and you can they will move around, but when you're wearing it, it won't. It will hold itself in place. So picking up the jump ring without anything attached on the other side. giving it a little twist to open it up, sliding on my next colour and closing that one over and just keep going, repeating that pattern. Really straightforward make today. We don't want anything too complicated early on a Monday morning, do we? A very, very quick make, so easy to batch make these. If you're going to make all six, you could do them all at the same time and it won't take you very long to complete your full kit. Just going to get a better grip on that one. making sure my jump rings are fully closed each time. Opening that one up. 
and sliding it on. So it's coming together very, very quickly. I'm going to start off with the Mabaya spiral. So I'll finish with the Mabaya spiral. Um, you could start and finish with the pearl if you prefer. I'm just going to get my rings to sit neater there. So I've just got my last pearl to add on now. So opening up that jump ring, just the six millimeter jump ring, sliding on my pearl and closing them back up. So as I say, I've started with the jump ring, my um, bias spiral, and I'm going to finish with my jump ring, my bias spiral, to create the length of bracelet that I think I would like. If I want to make it longer, I'm just going to add more of those on. If I want to make it smaller, I can just take that off. So instead of just attaching now my toggle clasp directly to the end, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an extra six millimeter jump ring onto each end the reason i've done that is i just find it's going to give a little bit of extra space which means i'll be able to put my toggle clasp on that little bit easier and they're not going to be too close up to those mobile spirals so i'm going to open up one of my jump rings and i'm going to slide that six millimeter jump ring onto the six millimeter jump six millimeter jump ring at the end and then I'm going to attach one part of my toggle clasp. So I'm going to put my little bar on this end. And give that a close. And on the other end, I'm going to put my little hoop part of the clasp, which is that gorgeous little rope finish on it. Really, really pretty. So sliding that through and closing that over. So in a matter of minutes, I've got my beautiful completed bracelet. Shall we try and put it on? Is it long enough for me? Should I add the other one? No, I think this is long enough for me. Let's see if I can do it under pressure, under the lights of the camera. There you go, that's how easy it is to attach. So I think they look very, very pretty. Um, Lucy says, uh, nice little make, love them. Joanne says, looking forward to making some of these. Any sort of chain linking, I find really eye-catching. I just think it's really special when you can make something and you can make it. You know, you can see a bracelet and think, I can make that. And there's no soldering required just very easy but fundamental jewellery making techniques opening and closing a jump ring to make these lovely looking little bracelets um, Mina says I want to try with crystal beads obviously um, and Camille says why not um, I think Mina's had some jump rings fall into a basket Lucy says she's going to make them and Paula says she loves them. So I know some of you have already made a similar version once you had your e-ring kit. Um, did you make it like mine? Did you add two jump rings on if you wanted to? It's going so slow. You could add two six millimetres on, uh, but you'd need to make your loops, I think, just slightly bigger um because you want them to connect nice and easily which i think just adding the one on does as i say if you wanted to you can get more than one kit and you can mix your metals so you could combine 
different colour metals into each of those spirals. Why is it going so slow? So you could mix your colours or you could alternate and you could have one flower or one Mabias spiral in the gold, one in the silver, one in the gold or black and silver. You can do whatever you like with them. But whatever you do, please share it in the handmade group so I can see. Um, Sheila says, fabulous. Thank you very much. Uh, Pauline says she's going to give it a go. Um, Angela says they're lovely. Lucy says F Facebook gremlins this morning. Um, welcome to Monday. Um, Diane saying it's looking normal to her. This camera is going at the same pace, but the downward facing one wasn't, and I don't know why. Um, oh, Mina, that's a good shout. She says black and silver would look lovely for um, boys and a man. Yeah, they would do. I love mixing metals. I think don't know, it just adds that little bit more of a kind of dimension to your jewellery. But they look gorgeous as they are in all one colourway. This one fits me lovely. It's loose enough to have a little bit of movement, but it's not travelling all the way up my arm or falling down my wrist. So this one for me, I didn't use um, eight Mabias spirals like I had for the eight inch ones. I used seven. And if I can take it off, look how easy it is to take on and off. This one is measuring. If I pop this back down, you can see. This one is measuring about a seven inch. So each of your Mabatia spirals is probably giving you almost an inch with the pin on as well. Um, so you can make them to measure and I think they look gorgeous with them little toggle clasps. Um, Mandy's asking, will the black stay black after wearing it for a while? Yeah, it should do. All, all metal will tarnish over time if you don't look after it properly. So even if you've got 14 karat gold, that will tarnish as well. Um, I tend to find I, if you store your jewellery and you put it on following a couple of rules and you wear it with a couple of rules, these will last for a long, long time. So my rules would be always make sure that your jewellery is the last thing you put on and the first thing you take off. And what I mean by that is pop your sprays and your lotions and everything else that you want to wear first and then pop your bracelets on or whatever it is. Um, things will oxidise more quickly if they are um, in contact with water, humidity, perfumes and lotions can kind of affect the kind of tarnishing, tarnishing process. Some things look lovely tarnished, so um, certain wire pieces I will deliberately tarnish. So I will put it in something called a liver of sulphur and that will show, um, it brings a patina out so it will highlight I think a little bit more of the weave some things like this I want to stay very shiny and very lovely um so I wouldn't shower in it I wouldn't bathe in it I wouldn't go swimming with it I don't go to the gym so that's not an issue um but I would probably keep it in one of my little bags now when you get your kits from totally beads you will find that your jump rings often come in a little baggy like this once you've finished making all six of your gorgeous bracelets Rather than have one of these left over um, and for it to go in the bin, reuse it. So I would put my earrings in it. I would put my bracelet in it. And that's then going to be in a little airtight bag. And that will keep your jewellery findings looking a lot more lovely for a lot longer. Um, I don't know what you're all talking about. Have I missed any questions or anything at all? I hope not. So thank you for joining me today. It was a quick one, um, even with 
a few freezes at the beginning. I'm going to be back with you on Friday and Kitty will be with you on Wednesday. So I hope you're all going to have a really lovely week. Joanne says, have a lovely week all. Just the weather for staying in and making. Thank you, Natalie, for showing us this lovely make. You are most welcome. So if you're staying in today and you're looking for something to do over the next couple of weeks or so, head over to the Totally Beads website, have a look in the video tutorial categories and see what takes your fancy. Today's bracelets kits make up six bracelets and they are £9.99. So maybe you don't even want to make them yourself, but maybe you've got somebody who's a jewellery making um, fan or is eager to start jewellery making why not buy them this as a little secret Santa or something and that can get them on their making journey. Um, Diane is asking me what I am making on Friday. You will have to wait and see, Diane, but please come back and join me then. So have a lovely, lovely week and I will see you soon.